What's going on guys, it's Zaro with another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more Rainbow Six Siege content. Also, if you guys want to hit Plat 3 but you guys are stuck and you want to get carried or you want to buy a Plat account that's been hit Plat 1, 2, or 3 times, make sure you guys check out my link down in the description, check out my Fiverr, and you guys can make that possible. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so as you guys know that in December, the next season called Neon Dawn will drop. There will be a new operator called Aruni coming out. I will talk more about her in a later video. But also, there is a lot, a lot of nerfs and buffs going on in this rework. First off, Habana, her ex Karos launcher, which is her ability, instead of shooting six shooters every single time, so... Originally, her Habana shoots six pellets three times. Now, you can change it from two to four or six. Two is for a tiny little hole. Six is like her a main hole she always does. And four is how you pop hatches. So, if you guys want to pop hatches, you can just use four. I mean, that means you can pop three hatches with 12, and she has 18 in total. So, you can pop three hatches and still get a big enough hole in a wall to look through. So that is really amazing. That is a crazy buff for her. And the next person we have is Echo. Sorry to all you Echo means, but I have some bad news. So Echo is getting nerfed really hard this upcoming season. So originally, his yokai drones went on the ceiling and not shooting someone. They were invisible. They were transparent, so you can see through them. So they were really hard to see unless you were focusing all your energy on them. That means Echo's ban rate will be decreased because no one's going to be playing him anymore. So now you guys can ban another operator while playing ranked. Also, Echo will be getting his deployable shield back. So if you still want to play Echo, you do have a deployable shield to use to camp behind. Now to the biggest nerf coming to Neon Dawn. It has to do with Jaeger. Originally, Jaeger had three ADSs and each ADS had two charges. That itself was already a nerf because before that, Jaeger had three ADSs with three charges. But now, Jaeger will still have three ADSs. But each ADS will have infinite charges. But the bad thing about it is that it has a 10 second cooldown per time it goes off. So if I put an ADS on, say for instance, we're bending a wall and we have a Jaeger in the drone hole so they can't grenade it. All you have to do is throw one flashbang, just one, and then you can get the bandits with the grenade. I think this is a really unnecessary because Jaeger was a good op, but he wasn't overpowered for that. Them adding that literally just completely changed so much. Also coming to next season, running out will be different. It will be nerfed so hard that running out will be almost impossible if the person you're running out on has enough brain cells to, to see the uh, icon on their screen because now instead of running out taking two and a half seconds and it being a timer from a countdown it will now be one second before you get visible so that means that literally the second you run out you are visible on the map and also instead of a timer going from the one to zero because that's kind of you know just one second they have a visible bar to show you how long you have i really like this update because it stops running out a lot, stops spawn peeking. It's good and bad, but it's supposed to help Pro League, so that's why they're doing it. Also, in the new update, operators will go down in price. The operators that are going down in price are Vigil, Zofia, Dokubi, Nomad, Cade, Wamai, and Kali. They will be going from 15k all the way down to 10k. So for those new players and those that have a lot of Smurfs, it will be a lot cheaper to buy these really good ops. Also... In the beginning of each season, an elite skin comes out. But this season will not have an elite skin coming out when it first drops because the Chanka dropped at the end of the current season we're in right now. So there will be no elite skin coming out at the beginning, only in the middle. In the new season, Ash will also be getting a Claymore now and, and she will be losing her flashbangs. That is really nice because I don't really use Claymore or I don't really use flashbangs on Ash. I think a Claymore would be really nice. To watch your flank after you rush in the site. 
Also, Zero will be getting a hard breach and losing his grenades. That's perfectly fine because now he has a hard breach and he has a claymore. So grenades, getting rid of his grenades is not that big of a deal. Doki Bill will be getting her her frags back. I'm not for sure what she's losing. She's either losing her smoke or her, or her flash wings. I'm assuming she'd lose her flash wings. Valk will be losing her deployable shield. I am not sure what she is getting in return, but that is a really big nerf because I love me myself. I love Valkyrie with her deployable shields because I can camp behind you while I watch my cams. And last off, Wamai is losing his deployable. I don't understand this nerf because Wamai's ability is not that great without a deployable. Because when I play Wamai, I put a deployable up somewhere near site and I put Wamai's way in front of it to protect my deployable shield. That is what makes Wamai so such a good op because with Wamai, you can literally push your deployable down and then literally protect it so they can't come into that entrance. Because if they try to throw grenades, flashbangs, Zafia, or ash charges, they all get eaten up, which is really nice. So this is a really big nerf that I really don't like. Alright guys, that's all for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.